Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit of just going through a actual like family tree if we look through what this is slow if we look through actually how yeah I know the, so this is actually California that's you know we tested this out it is frozen okay um so since I can't actually show anything and this is fully visual this is kind of awkward but uh I would be showing you diagrams about how rust comes from ski scheme and this is really sad <laughs> is it oh my god other way oh my god yeah okay. so this is why i was like we need images <laughs> i'm like i can't i can't do this much for my brain it's too much okay so here's like from, this is 2016, all the way back to way, really long ago, uh, the 50s. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. Yeah, so now these are the only ones we actually care about. <laughs> I spent my lunch break doing this. <laughs> okay, so we got rust at the bottom. In uh, the next red are the ones that it's directly inheriting from. So we got Haskell, Erlang, OCaml, Scheme R5RS, C Sharp 2.0, uh, Limbo, which I looked up, and it is a language that came out of Bell Labs. I hadn't heard of it before. Um, C++ and Objective-C. So now let's look back at, of course, everything traces back to Fortran. Like, that's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's clearly at the top. But let's look at each of these different ones so we can learn a little bit about the history. So Erlang goes up to common Lisp and Prolog, which then, of course, just goes up to Lisp. Sounds, you know, makes sense. Um, Haskell goes up to Gopher and Haskell, uh, which goes up to uh, ML and SML. Uh, OCaml goes up to Camel and SML and then ML. Scheme has a bunch of schemes until it actually reaches Scheme. Uh, also, the naming is very strange. It's like Scheme MIT, Scheme 86, and then Scheme R3RS, R4RS, R5. I don't know where, why did they skip to three? I don't know. But, uh, and that goes all the way up to, over to Algo, Algot, Algol, okay, uh, 60. Um, so that goes all the way up there. And C sharp goes clearly up to C, C sharp, uh, and then goes up through Java and into the C++ world, which we'll actually talk about in a second. Uh, limbo goes to a C, and then up to uh, S or a CSP, which then goes up and over to all of these Cs, and again back up to Algo. Uh, and then we got Objective-C and C++ in the middle here. So these go up to Smalltalk and all of the small talks there, up to Simula, and again, all the way up there. <laughs> I'm apparently too short for this. <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, that would have been a good idea. Eh, this is more entertaining. <laughs> okay. So uh, the other thing is Objective C goes in, or uh, Ada comes in here. So something, if they're in green, they're directly next to one of the reds. So I missed where one of these are. Oh, it's uh, Objective C. So Objective C comes from Ada, which then goes up to Pascal and up. I can actually also share this image later. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so. Oh it's my god. Yeah. This is actually nicer because I had them written down here, so I could have actually just told you what each was. Okay. Um, so which ones have we not touched yet? So uh, we were talking a little bit about C sharp, which goes up and has some oak in it and C up to Java. And it has some .NET. 
Objective C is just eta, which is Pascal plus C. Uh, now I'm just trying to figure out where I if there's anything I want to cover on this specifically. Okay, so some of the interesting things in this to me were some of the things that were missing. Um, I wasn't. It's so strange to see, uh, like Python and Ruby and all of those things missing because they have. They are pretty intertwined with a lot of popular languages, and Rust is nothing like them. So I should not have been surprised in any way, but it just seemed like something that they inherit from would be used. So it's really awesome to see how to actually just get to make this chart and learn all about it. Uh, one of the ones I thought was entertaining is there's a programming language called Hope. So Rust has a little bit of hope in it, you know? No, it's an old hope. That, like, do you see? <laughs> like, look, <laughs> like, look over. Actually, that might be the same year, around the same year as A New Hope. It looks like it's 79. So, okay. Uh, I think that's about it. So, questions? Go ahead. Um, I am planning to do a longer version of this talk um, that got accepted in January. So, I've been looking up different resources, and I took someone else's generated thing and then went across it. But I hand traced all of them and like, that's how I got the specific Rust one. Uh, was Cyclone the chart or just because of what you on the line? I just did not see it. Okay. 